everybody. This is David again with another Verilog video. Um, previously I did a couple of one-on-one sequence detectors. This is another one. Uh, the first one I did was using a shift register. The second one I did using 3D flip-flops. And this one is using a finite state machine. So I'll take you through the code here. We have the same inputs as previously. So we have clock, reset, the data in and the detected signal out. Um, for a state machine, I created four parameters. So we have basically the initial state. Um, I'll walk you through it down here in the case, but uh, so we only need four states. So I got a two-bit state. Here's the two-bit state register. We're gonna initialize it to the zeroth state. Um, then down here is where the logic is. So I'm always at Pause edge clock or neg edge reset. If it's a neg edge reset, um, then the state will reset to state zero. And then in the case of state, if we're at zero and we get a one, we're going to go to state I call detected one, so debt one. Otherwise, if it's zero, we'll just stay here. It's implied. You don't need the else statement if you didn't know that. So uh, once we're in Debt one, if data equals zero, we will go to state detect a one zero. Otherwise, we'll stay here because it's still one. Uh, when we're in state uh, detect one zero, if it's if data comes in as a one, we'll go to detected 101. Else, if it's another zero, then we go all the way back to the first state, which is state zero. Now, if we're in detected one zero one, if data is a zero, then we could possibly have another situation of another 101. So we go back to detected 10 state right here. Otherwise, if it's another one, we go back to detected a one state. Now for the output signal, it's just um, using the ternary operator, initial statement. So basically, if the state is equal to detected 101, then detected output will be a one otherwise it'll be a zero here's the test bench create a register for each of the inputs a wire for the output create an integer that i use in a for loop down here here i instantiate the device under test all the names are the same um, here's a 16-bit register of data i just fill with arbitrary data making sure i have some one zero ones we can detect in here, and I've got four. Um, here I create the clock, so it's a clock of four um, simulation ticks. The period is so after two ticks, we will invert the clock. Here we'll initialize it to zero, initialize reset on, um, initialize the data, the integer, and then after five ticks, which is right before a pause edge clock, we will release the reset. And we will go into the for loop. So I start integer i at zero. Um, we have a 16 bit register. So as long as i is less than 16, we'll increment. And then data becomes the index of the data reg, same as I've done before. So we'll start at zero, one, two, three, all the way up to 15. We'll take a little delay and then we'll finish. I already ran the simulation. Here it is. I changed the color of clock up here to white. Reset is yellow. Data in is blue. Um, the detected output is green. And here's our integer i. I changed the rate x to decimal. So as we step through right here after five ticks, we release the reset. And then the data starts coming in. Um, if you remember the register, if not, it starts at zero. So then we have a 101. And right here at this pause edge clock, we're in that detected 101 state, so we get a detected signal out. Here's another 101, detected out, 101, detected out, 00101, and another detected out. I had four 101s, we have four detected signals. As you can see, it's working. I'll take you back to the code so you can check it out. Um, let me see if I can get in one page. Nope. But... There you go. Another 101 sequence detector. Thanks for watching.